What's up guys, welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to complete Nation Player Andre Bellotti. If you're looking to buy some FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, then look no further. U7 Buy has the cheapest coins out there, the transactions are safe, and you'll receive your coins within a blink of an eye. Use code K for a 5% discount, the link is in the description. Also guys, if you're looking to accessorize your controller and give it a new and improved look, then check out Fatal Grips. They do joystick grips and controller skins that look and feel amazing. The grips and skins come in an array of different colors and styles to choose from. And use the code KN10 to get 10% off at the checkout and the link will be in the description. Okay, so um, it's a bit of a weird Friday just because EA didn't really release um, or give us a hint of what Friday promo there was going to be. Um, normally they release it on like Friday night, but they didn't, so we had no clue. So we were just waiting on 6 p.m. Luckily, they've released a player for us to play for, which is good, um, which I was hoping for really because I put all of my fodder into the Maradona SBC and realistically, that was the worst decision I could have made just because Maradona isn't the best like the greatest that's that's what i feel anyway um there's so many other players that are better is better than him anyway uh but yeah so start off we have score and assist using forwards in eight separate squad battles matches or min professional difficulty or rivals play them in squad battles as i say every week um because it's much easier there's no competition there really um and yeah it's a bit weird because they normally start off with like the individual um objectives so like score uh with brazilians in five separate matches or whatever uh, not separate matches but just score five goals uh normally they finish off with like the separate matches or play etc et but yeah they started off with this um it's not a it's not a big one it's not a really hard one to be fair it's only a professional but it's probably going to be in world class to be fair if you want to get all of them done and um Score and assist using forwards, that is left wingers, right wingers, centre forwards and strikers, left forwards and right forwards only. Um, you can't play a striker, uh, I mean you can't play a cam at centre forward, that doesn't count as a forward. Uh, the position on the player has to be one of those five, I think five or six uh, positions, but yeah. Uh, the next one is just to assist four goals using the players with min four star weak foot in squad battles or min world class difficulty or rivals. Uh, yeah, so here it is, the world class difficulty, um, just to assist four goals using players with min four star weak foot, which pretty much every player has now, as it as it is the end now. Um, EA have boosted up like weak foot skill moves, etc. So again, really easy there. Um, the next one is then just to win seven matches in squad battles on min world class difficulty with at least five Italians uh, players in your starting squad. Now, if you have any like say icon swaps that you have to do for instance maybe a silver one uh the silver uh squad battles one or the ucl one you can do this together just to win matches um just make sure at least of the five silvers or ucls are italian you can get this one done as well it's up to you really how you want to go about and do this but yeah win seven matches and then you have to play a minimum or max of eight uh squad battle matches so again it's not bad it's really easy actually um, if that's all you need. Then the last one is just to score 10 goals using Serie A players in squad battles on min world class difficulty. This is very easy. I'm like, I'm going to be totally honest. 100% um, recommend you do it. Unfortunately, it's not a live card. It's just like a card that's going to stay with the, the upgrades that he has on his card right now. Um, I'm pretty sure he did have a storyline card and it was very good. Um, so hopefully, yeah, this card is better. Um, I'm going to show you his in-game stats right now. Okay, so I've got his card here right now. Uh, three star skill moves, which isn't obviously the best, um, but for me, I don't really use skill moves. More of a weak side uh, player, so yeah, we, the five star weak foot is very, very helpful, very good there. Five foot eleven, it's not bad. Um, high high as well, that's very good for a striker. Um, his in game stats are honestly amazing. Um, his agility and balance is it's it's all right. It's not bad, uh, especially for five foot eleven. It's not the best, obviously. Um, but it's still it's decent his reactions is quite high but obviously could get higher if you upgrade it um, composure is quite low for a striker 
uh, but with the five star weak foot it shouldn't be really a problem uh, and then the splits for pace is very good i probably say um just like maybe an engine on him maybe um personally yeah that's why i'd probably put an engine just because you want to upgrade his agility balance pretty much a bit of more of like the dribbling uh, side of stuff and yeah definitely his pace his shooting don't need to upgrade 99 99 for attack positioning and finishing and uh yeah it's a very very good card obviously i recommend you complete it he's got power header which is good because he is quite tall outside of the foot shot trait is kind of helpful um but he has got five he has got five star weak foot so you don't really need that but i guess it's like you know an extra trait um that is very good but yeah that is the end of the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video.